All right, now that we have implemented this feature, it's time to review our code and make sure it's clean and well organized. Look at the code in the main method. This method is getting a bit fat and currently it has about 18 lines of code. Earlier I told you that whenever you want to refactor a method, we should look for two things, repetitive patterns in the code, as well as lines that are highly related. They always go together. In this case, we don't have any repetition in the code, but we have these lines of code that go together. They're highly related. They serve a single purpose. And that purpose is displaying this summary about the mortgage. Similarly, we have these other lines that are highly related and their purpose is to print the payment schedule. So we can extract these few lines all together and move them to a separate method called print payment schedule. Now, let me show you a cool trick. With this few lines selected, I'm gonna right click here and here we can go to the refactor menu. In this menu, we have various refactoring commands. One of them is extract. Unfortunately, it's not visible in my recording window. So I'm gonna bring it up from the top menu. So refactor, extract, and here we have method. With this command, we can easily extract these few lines and move them to a separate method. Here we have this drop-down list for setting the visibility of this method. So we can use various access modifiers. In this case, it doesn't really matter. We'll talk about access modifiers in the second part of this course. So we can go with private or public, doesn't really matter. Now we need to give this method a name. Let's say print payment schedule. Now this is the beauty of IntelliJ. It automatically detects that what parameters we need in this method. So we need an integer called principal, a float called annual interest, and a byte called years. These are based on the variables and values we had in the selected code. And we can always change this. If you're not happy with what IntelliJ is suggesting, you can always remove these parameters, change their data type, change their name, whatever. Now over here, you can see a preview of this method. So this method is gonna be private static void called print payment schedule with these parameters. Now, once we click on the refactor button, all the magic happens. So IntelliJ automatically created this method. It moved all the selected code in this method and simply called this method in our main method. So this is a great shortcut to know. Let's repeat this one more time. This time I'm gonna select these few lines, go to the refactor menu on the top, extract, method and look at the shortcut on mac it's alt command and m now let's give this method a name print mortgage let's review the parameters so we need to pass principal annual interest and years makes perfect sense so let's go ahead and refactor this as well there you go we have this new method here which is called in our main method now our main method is no longer 18 lines of code it's only five lines so as a best practice, try to keep your methods to five to 10 lines and no more than 20 lines.